What's going on, escape artists? So I just want to give you a quick rundown about uh, the hike and some plans for after the hike. Again, I want to apologize for the bright light. The way it is down here is, uh, yeah, <laughs> if I use the one that's over there, it's too dim back here. If I use just this one, then eh, my face isn't brightly lit up, so I apologize. Uh, don't mind me, I have some notes because there's quite a bit here. Alright, so for the hike itself. Uh, pictures and text posts are going to be easy. I can actually do those anywhere on the trail. Uh, my phone is a Verizon phone, which has the best coverage on the trail. So I am going to post pictures and maybe some text posts on the website. Just to let you guys know where I am, what I'm doing, and on the website as well, I do have the map for my spot. Uh, GPS, the personal locator beacon. So uh, you'll be able to see where I'm at. Uh, videos, however, I'm going to do roughly once a week uh, and when I stop in town. So, and or when I stop in town. Like if I, if, if I get moving to the pace where I'm stopping in town every couple days, then it'll be, it'll be once a week. So, uh, that way I'm not spending too much time worrying about the, uh, the video because I can edit a little bit when I go to bed at night, but I can just upload when I get to town. Uh, other than that, it'll be mostly text and, uh, and pictures. Uh, as I get closer to finishing, however, I might hold off on the video and just do the rest when I get back here. The hike itself is actually uh, going to be cut kind of short. It is not a full-on AT through hike anymore. It is now a section hike. Um, money is not where I want it to be to be able to complete the whole trail. Uh, I will have to be extremely frugal with my money. And when I say extremely frugal, I mean I am seeing that uh, I'm close to where people have done the, the hike on uh, very, very low low numbers of money, less than $3,000. That's where I'm at right now is I'm below that number. I do want to say, though, that since this is a section hike, that uh, I am planning on returning to do a full through hike. It may not be next year or the year after, but I am planning it. So since it's a section hike, I do have enough to make it more than halfway, even being frugal. Middlesex, PA, which is just after Boiling Springs and before Duncannon, uh, that is the absolute minimum target that I'm going for. The reason for that is because it is just a quick shot down the Pennsylvania Turnpike from Pittsburgh to, uh, to come get me if that's all the farther I make it. Uh, it's only a couple hour drive for, you know, whoever need, can come pick me up to pick me up, or I can just catch a bus from Harrisburg back over to Pittsburgh. Now, Middlesex is actually real close to uh, Carlisle and Mechanicsburg, PA. Uh, in AWOL's guide, he actually lists um, Appalachian Brewing Company. If you're a beer drinker, check it out. They actually have a few, uh, a few drinks that are appropriately named for trails, such as the Hoppy Trails Beer. Seriously? Check it out, guys. It's a good good little brewery. It's about five miles from where it crosses over Interstate 81. That is pretty much the uh, the point. But if you go over to Appalachian, it's a satellite location for them. It's not the main brewery, but they have some delicious beers if you're a beer drinker. I'm not going to be sleeping in towns very often, so my video will probably not show a whole lot of town footage. Uh, I'll probably just go in there if I'm avail if it's available to do laundry, I'll do my laundry. Uh, I'll resupply maybe, 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 because I do kind of want to do one thing and that is have a beer that is brewed in that state in each state I visit. Uh, that is the only thing that I'm going to allow myself to uh, splurge on a little bit because I'll have one while waiting on my laundry or just before leaving town or whatever. Um, but beyond that, uh, it'll be straight up go into town, resupply, do what needs done, and get back out. Uh, I probably won't take many zeros at all. I'll probably just do a whole lot of Nero's. Yeah, because of the uh, the being frugal thing, yeah, it's it's gonna be tight, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be moving. I'm kind of sad about that. I did want to take my time and enjoy the sights, which I'll still take my time and enjoy the sights, of course, 
uh, but I'm not going to, because of that, I'm not going to take a zero near a beautiful vista. I'll hang out there for a couple hours and then just keep pushing. Luckily, though, you guys can help if you so choose. I'm not going to ask you to. Uh, keep that in mind. But if you so choose, you can help. On the website, escapingtheoffice.com, there is a PayPal donate button. Um, I'm just used to PayPal just because it's been around forever. So it is there. It does work. It has been tested. So I'm not going to ask you guys, but if you so choose, feel free. Uh, and, and I will just thank you in advance for that. It'll keep me going. However, um, the best way that you can help is actually uh, doing the whole driving for Uber thing that I've been talking about. It's just to kind of clear the air on, on this one, okay? So part of the reason why money isn't as good as it is as planned is because Uber driving, yes, it is good and helpful, uh, if you already have a full-time job. I jumped the gun a little bit early and quit my job and started driving full-time for Uber. And a lot of the budget that uh, that I set aside has been sucked in by gas. So keep in mind that if you're planning your thru-hike you know, a couple years from now or even next year, driving part-time for Uber is actually going to be perfect because it can help you get your gear that you need. And it's just that little bit extra that that you know, you're not getting from your full-time job or that you can just set aside 75% of it. Remember, you still gotta pull taxes out. You have to do it manually, they don't pull it for you. But you can you can save up what you need for the gear or for the trip itself. Uh, I, I recommend it part-time. And actually, because of the bonus that they're doing right now for referring people, uh, down in the description or the show more, whichever one you wanna call it, there is a referral link. If you click on that and sign up, it'll go through my account and attach to my account. And after 20 rides in about 30 days, uh, I get a small bonus. So if you were to do that right now and get signed up, it'll take you about a week or so to get signed up and fully good to go. You got to make sure your car is good to go. It has to be 2007 or newer and it has to be four door. Um, after you do all that, and go take your first 20 trips, I get a little bit of a referral. And uh, thanks to a little bit of information we just found out, uh, Jared, also known now as Silent Bob, uh, he got he did it. We did it so he gets my refer or my referral and all that. I get the bonus from him, and he also gets half of what the bonus is uh, just for signing up. So that's the current. Current thing, it fluctuates by city and state, so it might not be the same for, uh, I don't know, say, Charlotte, North Carolina, as it is for Pittsburgh. So it will be slightly different, but every little bit helps. If there's any Pittsburgh viewers watching right now, uh, the bonus, the way it is right now, is it's $200. So if I can get five of you guys to sign up if you're not driving, that will help a ton is it'll come through while I'm on the trail. So that could be the best way that you guys can help, but I'm not going to ask you guys for help. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to go with what I have. If you feel like donating, then thank you. But uh, yeah, beyond that, that is your guys' call. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is plans for the channel and the website. So for the channel, after I get back from this section hike, it will be a uh, general backpacking channel. Now, I am planning on taking a trip at least once a month. Uh, it might not be immediately after I get back from the trail. I will have to get back into the office. But uh, I will plan on using you know those, those three-day weekends, those four-day weekends. I'm going to plan some backpacking trips around those, or uh, once I start getting some vacation and leave time, uh, PTO, whatever it is called, in the uh, office world today, whatever the company wants to use, I will use those for backpacking trips. I'm going to try at least once a month. Uh, other things I might do, um, my friends and I are still planning on just doing some regular camping trips. So uh, little things that we do around the camp, I will uh, maybe make a few camping tips videos. Uh, I do have a few in mind of things that I use around the camp that you wouldn't normally think of or see or do so uh, I will make a few videos about that uh, just for general camping that way if you go out with your friends that don't backpack but they do camp 
you know, maybe you can just be a little bit more efficient around the camp or uh, find some cool uses for things that you wouldn't think of. Now, I'm thinking on maybe doing some gear reviews as well. However, I'm kind of tossed. I'm not married to that idea yet uh, since there are so many other people that do that. However, um, if it's asked, then sure, I will uh, I'll do it. Or um, if I just need to get you guys something to watch, then yeah, I will uh, go through even just a piece of the gear that I used on the AT or... If I get something different after I start doing the backpacking trips uh, once a month, then yeah, I'll, I'll review whatever I used. But at, that, at this time, I'm not married to that idea. So for the website, uh, after returning, um, all of the stuff that I mentioned on the YouTube video will also be available on the website, on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, However, I do want to include one extra thing on the website that will not be available on the YouTube channel. And that is my second hobby, which is uh, astronomy, actually. Uh, I'm going to work on, after getting back, I'm going to work on getting a DSLR camera so I can start doing astrophotography. Now, on the YouTube channel, I might do a a setup video for the camera for setting it up for astrophotography. Because there, there's videos out there, yes. Um, some of them are a little bit harder to understand. Some are very, fairly easy. But I, I figure why not give you guys something along that line so you know where to look. Uh, but beyond that, there's not really going to be any astronomy videos on the channel. However, on the website, uh, one plan I do have is uh, every backpacking trip I take. Uh, on the clearest night there, I will take a picture of the sky and it will be posted on the website. So, so you can just see how beautiful the stars are wherever I am. Uh, beyond that guys, uh, I am rather bummed that it is now n I am not able to, uh, complete the full through hike and not in the manner I wanted to. I'm still going to go. I'm still going to do it. Uh, I just have to be frugal. As much as I wanted to to be able to relax and, and not rush through it, I will have to rush a little bit just to avoid spending money. Uh, but it, it is in the plans that I will go back with enough to where I can take my time. I can start in March and finish in October. So, yeah. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and... I will see you soon.